What's going on everybody? It's your boy, support. First day, first day. Thank you guys so much for clicking back on the videos. Super, super excited to have you guys. You guys read the title. Today I'm going to be pretty much giving my opinion in regards to why recruitment is so low and has been such a pain in the past couple of years. First thing, obviously we know COVID was a thing, right? COVID came in unexpected, uh, pretty much threw a wrench in every single branch's efforts in regards to recruiting. You know, recruiters couldn't go to work. They had they couldn't go to schools. Why? Because kids were in that schools and they couldn't recruit the way they wanted to. But I just want to say to start off by saying this, the fact that we live in a country to where we have an all volunteer force, which is which is huge because not every country has that. Um, what are those Korean pop Korean singers who end up having to go serve? Um, imagine being like the biggest pop stars on the planet, right? and you still have to go serve for your country. I mean, it is what it is for them, but over here, we already know that that will probably never fly. So it's pretty much our right as of now to be able to choose whether or not we will want to join the armed service or not. And that's good, man. I feel, why? Because it gives people um, an, an opportunity to go experience um, a new career choice, such as the Marine Corps in my efforts, because I am in the Marine Corps. But the fact that, you know, I'm currently going through recruiting school right now. So obviously I've never been on the streets. That's what we call them, the streets of America recruiting the nation's finest. I haven't had that luxury of doing that. And I can only imagine how difficult this is going to be. Um, so I'm not saying that I, I know that I have what it takes uh, or anything like that because I'm here, the basic school to learn. However, I will say that, um, you know, we've seen a lot of different changes over the past, I would say decades with the influence of social media. Why is social media so huge and important? Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a double-edged sword, if I would have to say. Why? Because social media is very important in regards to the influence um, of the armed services. We can reach people like that. A lot of individuals can reach recruiters, get more information, content creators like myself. The bad part about it is, a lot of service members are using social media to pretty much leak their bad experiences and that kind of draws away from a large majority of a certain age group i.e the age group we have coming up who's mostly on those platforms you know kids in between the ages of 13 to 17 to 18 years old so it's really giving us a black eye in a certain a aspect as well especially uh some of the horror stories as you guys may be saying on some of these social media pages and everything you know not to say that their stories are wrong or anything you know it's just that everyone has a different experience in regards to their time or their experience um uh, in the military but i will say overall for me i had a great experience so far you know I, I never really had anything that would make me question uh whether or not i should be continuing to serve or not and i'm and i'm grateful for that i'm not going to sit here and say that you know i'm not grateful i am beyond grateful for that you know um just to just, just just you know social media common influence um more opportunities out in the workforce and you know i will say this i honestly will see a huge turnaround within the next couple of years in regards to uh recruitment numbers in the military just my own personal opinion why because society right now is absolutely insane it is absolutely insane prices inflation People can't find jobs. People with or who people who do have jobs can't even afford the finer things in life. You know, um, you know, rent is through the roof, especially in California. So I, I in the future, I do see a lot of people perhaps maybe turning towards the military, and that is a great thing. The military is not a bad option. It is not a bad option. It is a absolute great option, especially for those you know, who may not be wanting to do college right now, who may not can't, you know, find a job in their field of whatever trade that they, their interest in. The military, Marine Corps, um, and myself being a recruiter, I can better influence the masses uh, whenever I'm out on the streets or whatever, um, in regards to why they should join. Because man, I've been back in California for three weeks, four weeks, going on four weeks now. And it's, it's ugly. Eggs is like $10 for like a dozen eggs. Eggs, you got an egg shortage going on. You got, everything is extremely overpriced. Every single restaurant is charging you for a tip. And you know, not, not to say that those are bad things, but eggs being $10 is a bad freaking thing for one. But what I'm trying to get at is, recruitment has been on a slump 
for a little bit. You know, it has been on the slump for a little bit and that's expected. Like I said, again, with COVID and uh, the armed forces or implementing new systems put in place. Um, so it's getting kind of hard to find qualified individuals to serve. Um, so, and I'm not saying that the challenge of finding qualified individuals to serve is gonna get any better. That's not what I'm saying, but I will say that I honestly believe within the next couple of years, um, if you know inflation continue to happen like this, that we can see an absolute interest, uh, in, uh, increase of interest of young Americans wanting to join the armed services. We're gonna continue to do our things here, um, you know, and hopefully whenever I get out there, I can, can continue to do some great things. Because, because uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but. I mean, that's the video. Would you guys let me know what you think? Let me know why you guys think re recruitment is low or recruitment has been low in the past couple of years. Uh, let me know if you guys think recruitment is going to see an increase uh, within the next future, ne whether it's the next couple of years, next decade or whatever. You guys let me know down in the comment section. Till next time, though, it is your boy. And I am out. Peace.